Gavin Newsom says he would rather have Biden at 100 than DeSantis at any age, mocks Republican for losing to Trump by 41 points in Florida and yells at him for getting Kamala's name in back and forth over 2024 California Governor Gavin Newsom said he was all in for President Joe Biden and Vice President. Kamala Harris's re-election campaign Thursday night, while mocking Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for trailing former President Donald Trump badly, Newsom and DeSantis took part in a red state blue state governor's debate on Fox News Channel Thursday night, which was moderated by Sean Hannity. Time equals, 400 Ms. greater than the California Democrat hit back when DeSantis, 45, said that 81-year-old Biden was in decline, and thus a danger to the country. I would take Joe Biden at 100 versus Ron DeSantis any day of the week at any age, Newsom said. Newsom also asked DeSantis how his primary fight against Trump was going, pointing out, you're down 41 points in your home state, while slamming the Florida governor when he flubbed the pronunciation of Harris's first name. California Governor Gavin Newsom said he was all in for President Joe Biden's re-election campaign even going as far to tell Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, I would take. Joe Biden at 100 versus Ron DeSantis any day of the week at any age of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, during his debate with California Governor Gavin Newsom, said that President Joe Biden was in decline and a danger to the country while accusing Newsom of running a shadow campaign for president. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than shame on you. It's Kamala Harris, Ron. It's Kamala Harris. Madam Vice President to you, Newsom said. At the top of the debate, Newsom took an early swipe at DeSantis by announcing that neither participant on stage that evening would be their party's presidential nominee. Time equals, 400 Ms. greater than, there are profound differences tonight and I look forward to engaging, DeSantis said. But there's one thing, in closing, that we have in common is neither of us will be the nominee for our party in 2024. Newsom, 56, predicted that Biden would become the Democratic nominee, in a matter of weeks. Time equals, 400 Ms. greater than, in a matter of weeks, Sean, he'll be endorsing Donald Trump as the nominee in the Republican Party, the California Democrat said of DeSantis. Biden is being challenged by Representative Dean Phillips and self-help guru Marianne Williamson and Leeds Williamson, who's currently in second place, by 61 points. While DeSantis is trailing Trump nationally, on average, by around 48 points, Florida Atlantic University released a poll this month that had Trump 41 points ahead of DeSantis, like Newsom said. California Governor Gavin Newsom predicted that President Joe Biden, pictured, would be the Democratic nominee, in a matter of weeks, while saying that former President Donald Trump would be the GOP nominee in the same time period former President Donald Trump is leading Florida Governor Ron DeSantis nationally by around 48 points. In Florida, Trump leads DeSantis by 41 points, according to a November poll from Florida Atlantic. University at times during the debate, however, Newsom was pressed on whether he held ambitions for higher office. You will not admit it. Admit that you're running, DeSantis told Newsom at one point, adding at another that Newsom knows Biden is in decline which is why he's running a shadow campaign. Hannity pushed that narrative too, asking Newsom what would happen if Democrats at the convention tried to nominate him. I don't know how many times I can say it, Newsom huffed. Just making this stuff up about a shadow campaign. Time equals, 400 Ms. greater than, it's not even optional, he continued. He's doing fantastically, he said of Biden. I appreciate and respect the work the president's doing and the vice president, the Biden-Harris campaign and team, so absolutely unequivocally look forward to continuing to support their effort. President Biden will be re-elected in. President Trump will be rejected. Both Hannity and DeSantis pushed that Biden, who turned 81 earlier this month, was in cognitive decline. He says Joe Biden is 100% up to the job. You know that that's not true. Anybody who can look, he wants you to believe him over your own lion. Eyes, DeSantis said. DeSantis also hit Newsom over his recent trip to China. I would not go to China and grovel in front of Xi like Gavin Newsom did, DeSantis said looking into the camera. He says China is a partner on climate change? Time equals, 400 Ms. greater than, China is laughing at us, DeSantis said. Newsom responded by saying, I confronted Xi on the issue of fentanyl, and brought up the country's human rights abuses with the foreign minister and the vice president and other leaders in China. Again bringing up DeSantis. Faltering position in the polls, Newsom called attention to the GOP hopefuls feud with rival Nikki Haley, the former UN ambassador and South Carolina governor, 
over who's been more friendly toward Chinese businesses. Newsom called out the Florida governor's hypocrisy. This is just a reminder. I think it's a question that some people probably ask and I know Nikki Haley's campaign is asking. When are you going to drop out and at least give Nikki Haley a shot to take down Donald Trump in this nomination? Newsom asked. PolitiFact found no evidence that DeSantis, as Florida governor, courted Chinese businesses in recent months. Still Newsom used it as an attack line. She laid you out, the Democrats said.